Once an unknown part of our planet, the Arctic in recent years has been gaining increasing attention from countries and international organizations. And this increasing attention has led to increasing threats to the region as a result of the impact of climate change. Navigating the Arctic's icy waters of the Northern Sea Route in midwinter was heralded as the start of a new era that could reshape the global shipping routes. It cut travel time between Europe and Asia by more than a third. Shrinking polar ice has allowed shipping traffic to the, in the Arctic to rise between 25% between 2013 and 2019, and it has been growing ever since. The opening up of newer routes has accelerated shipping emissions, which has led to the melting of ice and has added further risks to the ecosystems. Arctic shipping is not only made possible as a result of the climate crisis, it's adding to it as well. More ships mean a rise in exhaust fumes, which is further accelerating ice melting in the sensitive region. This is due to a complex phenomenon involving black carbon, an air pollutant formed by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels. When black carbon or soot lands on snow and ice, it dramatically speeds up the melting. Dark snow and ice, by absorbing more energy, melts far faster than heat reflecting white snow, creating a vicious circle of faster warming. Activists and environmentalists warn that the Arctic, which is warming up four times faster than the global average, has seen an 85% rise in black carbon from ships between 2015 and 2019. And this is mainly because of the increase in oil tankers and bulk carriers. Unlike other transport sectors, including road, rail and inland waterways, where air quality standards curb the emissions, no regulations exist for shipping. In November last year, the International Maritime Organization adopted a resolution on the use of cleaner fuels in the Arctic to reduce black carbon, but the organization left it as a voluntary move. According to a report by shipbroker Simpson Spence Young, the pollution from global shipping increased by 4.9% in 2021. The IPCC report published earlier this month also urged the IMO member states to take urgent action to dramatically reduce ship source black carbon emissions this decade in order to mitigate climate crisis in the Arctic. The Clean Arctic Alliance says if all shipping using heavy fuel oil in the Arctic switch to cleaner distillate fuel, it would cut their black carbon emissions by 44%. The International Maritime Organization's 2021 ban on heavy fuel oils in the Arctic, a move that was aimed at reducing the risk of spillage, which is expected to come into effect in 2019, will see a reduction in black carbon. Some experts also say the tide is already swimming in the same direction.